So in the last lecture, we refactored our user entity and we also created a profile entity. So if I go to VS Code, let me close this user controller and create profile DTO. So here you can see we have the user entity and we have the profile entity. But if I go to our Postgres database, there you will see that we have only one table, this user table. But the profile table has not been created here. Now, why is that? The reason is, if you remember, in order for type ORM to create a table for this profile entity, in the app module, we have to add that profile entity to this entities array. Then only it will be able to create that profile table in the database. But we are not doing that. So every time we create a new entity, we will have to add that entity to this entities array so that type ORM can go ahead and create a table for that entity in the database. And sometimes while developing your application, you might forget that. And for that, we have a solution here. And the solution is every time we create a new entity, we want that entity to be auto loaded and create a table in the database. And to do that, all we have to do is we have another property here, which is auto load entities. And we simply have to set it to true. And here we can go ahead and we can comment this entities array. So now every time you create a new entity that will be auto loaded by this auto load entities property. And for that entity, a table will be created in the database. So if I save the changes here, and if I go to our database, and if I refresh this tables, you'll still see that we have only one table, the user table here. And the reason is here, we added this auto load entities. But if you remember, I have mentioned in my previous lectures that whenever you create your entity, here, we have created this profile entity. So whenever you create an entity like this, you also need to import it using type ORM module. So in the profile module, what you need to do is you need to add the import array. In that import array, first you will import type ORM module. And on that, you have to call for feature. To this for feature, you need to pass an array. And in that array, you can specify the entity for which you want to create a table, which you want to import. Now, before I go ahead and I add the profile entity here, let's go to profile entity.ts file. And there I have mentioned that in this profile entity, we are going to set all the fields as optional, right? So here I have set for gender nullable to true. For last name, here also, let's set it to true. For first name also, let's set it to true. And let's check other. So date of birth is already nullable. Bio is nullable. And profile image is also nullable. Let's save the changes here. Let's go to DTO. There, I'm going to use this question mark after this profile image. Let's also use this after this bio to make these fields optional. We already have it for date of birth, gender, last name and first name. So now everything is okay. Now let's go to profile module.ts and there let's specify profile entity. And to use this profile entity, we also need to import it from profile.entity file. And with this, let's save the changes. Let's check the terminal everything should be working as expected there is no error let's go back to postgresql database and again let me go ahead and let me refresh the tables folder and now you will see that we have two tables profile table and user table if i go to profile table and if i select view edit data first 100 rows you can see the table definition. We don't have any records there. So that's why you're not seeing any records here, but the table is created. So the user table is created and profile table is created. So this is what this auto load entities feature is. It basically allows us to auto load any entity which we create. Now we don't have to add the entities when we create it to this entities array. It will be taken care by this auto load entities. All we need to make sure is in the module, we import this type ORM module. On that, we need to call this for feature and we need to pass the entity which we want to import. 
I hope this is clear. So this is all I wanted to cover in this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.